hello friends in this lab exercise we are going to see how to check or verify if our uh, Linux host is able to connect to the internet that means we are able to uh, browse any website download some package RPM for example or uh, some configuration file or maybe configure yum repositories uh, to download packages install packages directly from the internet so before that we need to ensure the connectivity so I have these uh, two uh, virtual machines sessions open one is black magic another is white magic so I go to this black magic for example only and let's ping google.com and we see name or service not known so that means uh, the pink service is not working here in this case you can also use 8.8.8.8 and I would prefer this because this is the uh, I think primary DNS server of Google the secondary is uh, four times 8844 now uh, ping it so here also we see network is unreachable okay almost same thing but a little bit different here here we are talking about the connection so connection network is unreachable so that means uh, our system is not connected to the internet now I show you this here ping 8.8.8.8 here I'm getting a response I hit control C I can also use edit 4.4 again we are getting a response NS look up 8.8.4.4 dns.google so this is the dns server of google or google.com so use this uh, dns server uh, ip you can use four times eight or two times and two times four very easy to remember also there are other uh, uh, free and uh, public uh, you know we can say publicly available uh, dns server ip so dns server names available on the internet you can use them also for example ping 1.1.1.1 we are getting a response now let's do ns lookup 1.1.1.1 okay now name is coming 1111 so Now another thing is if you want see you can give any name to your IP you know so this you can use I think this belongs to some uh, website such as cloud something uh, maybe we can just Google it if you want to but anyways what we wanted is to check if you are able to connect to a DNS server and it is very safe and uh, good practice also okay so instead of just looking for a service being all available or uh, unavailable we are checking for the connections now I'll show you some other way you just do this thing echo now let's create one connection TCP connection and specify the DNS IP and we know the port is 53 so DNS uh, has this port uh, 53 associated with it now semicolon you know when we want to run multiple commands uh, at the command prompt or at the shell so we can use semicolon here and echo dollar question mark so dollar question mark you know when we run that command echo dollar question mark what it uh, shows us 
some value it could be 0 1 2 5 2 55 so 0 means everything is good now we executed this command and a code dollar this uh, question mark okay so a code dollar question mark is showing this zero here at the end but we should not be seeing this output here so i missed something greater than sign okay so i'm sending just a blank line to this to check if it is successful now we see zero so it is successful that means it can connect to this dns server on the port 53 okay it is on the internet and the operation is successful so you can have this line somewhere in your script also or maybe uh, for connection check uh, script also now the same command we use here and we get a value which is not zero it is one so we are also noticing that connect so our connection is not working okay then we get this network unreachable thing okay so the thing is and also this value one which is not zero it is coming from this so our operation this operation was unsuccessful if you look at the IPs of this uh, machine you can see I have one Ethernet or interface configured for this VM and it has this IP if you if you look at the other one you can see that uh, I have configured two interfaces here one and two and uh, the second has a different IP address here and because I have configured it as a bridged connection that's why through this interface I am able to connect to the internet if I disable this interface then through this interface and IP I will not be able to connect to the internet because I am using a bridged connection here for this I am using host only connection same thing here I can show you one example so we can just uh, down this make it unavailable users cannot control this device fair enough I'm not the root user but if I have root privileges I can use this sudo command okay so successfully disconnected now we don't have any IP associated with this interface it is down but the other one is available its IP is there use if config also if you want to that additional command you see no IP is there now this is still available okay uh, so this is uh, I actually I was doing some exercise so uh, related to bond or bonding teaming that's why I configured two interfaces here so one interface is not available then other inter interface can handle the traffic okay for this uh, for this machine however I have two different um, uh, you know uh, connection types so because I had to download certain packages from the internet and install them so I used bridge connection for the second interface now let's run our connection test command you see it is failing here also now so let's do this thing bring it back up and now it is successful ping hyphen c1 google.com perfect enjoy guys bye bye